In most of my videos, I show various clips from the beginning to the end of the hunt. For this video, I'm going to do something different. Instead of showing the entire hunt, this time I will focus on how a mink subdues a muskrat. Now let's slow that down so we can actually see what is happening. First, the mink grabs the muskrat wherever it can, usually its butt, back leg, or sometimes even its tail, just to slow it down. Next, the mink wrestles for control, trying to grasp the muskrat by the head, while doing its best to avoid the muskrat's large, beaver-like teeth. Did you see that? The muskrat tried to bite the mink on the neck, but the mink beat it to the punch, grabbed it by the nose, and before the muskrat could even bite down, pulled its teeth away from its own throat. Now those are some fast reflexes. Let's watch that again. Now that the mink has the muskrat by the head, we see that the muskrat starts spinning and twisting, doing its best to wriggle free from the mink's grasp. Rather than lose its good hold, the mink also spins and twists, thus preventing the muskrat from wriggling free. As the wrestling match continues, we see that the muskrat begins to slow down. It is obviously fatigued from the struggle, and unlike the mink, is beginning to run out of energy. The mink is finally now gaining complete control over the muskrat. A more experienced mink would have gained control much earlier on, but this mink is new to the muskrat hunting game 
and is still trying to figure things out. Though less refined and efficient than a more seasoned mink, this mink was able to use her instincts to finally subdue her prey. Now let's watch that one last time at regular speed. With lightning fast reflexes and a fearless attitude, mink truly are one of nature's most intense predators.